It is January 2nd, 2022, and after about three years of being closed, Typhoon Lagoon here at Walt Disney World has finally reopened. I'm Dandy702, and welcome to our first time here at Typhoon Lagoon in Orlando. The storm is over, the coast is clear, so come on and see the view from here. Don't mind if I do. I am beyond excited to be here for its reopening day and it's my first time here ever. Blizzard Beach, my current favorite water park of Disney's two water parks, had reopened last March and we were there for opening day. But Typhoon Lagoon sat for what seemed like abandoned for a couple of years now, almost three years. Oh my goodness, we are just walking in and everybody's saying hello, welcoming us back to Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, we knew that Blizzard Beach would be closing starting today for an annual but lengthy refurbishment and it was unknown until just a few days ago that Typhoon Lagoon would be reopening in its place. But here we are, so let's go catch a wave, cruise some of the sides, and definitely soak up the sun here at Typhoon Lagoon. But let's start by walking around with the regular camera to get an idea of the layout, then we will grab the GoPro and hit the water. As we walked in, we saw a couple of places for merchandise. It looks like there are lockers and a towel return. Also some restrooms here, probably a place to change. Ooh, some mini donuts. They have that back at Blizzard Beach. This is a Joffrey's mini donuts. Some more refreshments. Over here, there's a little mini bar maybe. Yeah, it definitely looks like a mini bar. Let's see, park hours today. Oh, these are all of the park hours, including the actual theme parks. Blizzard Beach closed. Wah, wah. Typhoon Lagoon is open today from 10 to five. Oh, here's the water temperature in case you guys are wondering. Looks like it sits between 84 and 85, depending on the area. T today's weather, it will be about 84 as the high. It's looking a little gloomy now, but that will clear pretty soon. It, usually the mornings here in Florida are a little bit overcast. This park opened in 1989, and it's home to one of the world's largest wave pools. The waves here are pretty gnarly. You can even learn to surf here and literally take surfing lessons in their wave pool. The story behind this park is that there was a massive typhoon which left a huge wreck on what was a tropical paradise. You can see the damage with surfboards, fishing gear, and even ships that have been thrown around by the storm and landed around the lagoon. Then there's Miss Tilly, which is the park's centerpiece. The shrimp boat ended up on top of Mount Mayday and about every 30 minutes or so, water gushes out of the top as the bells of the watch sound off. Usually Disney water parks are open year round, but when 2020 hit and everything closed, Blizzard Beach was the only one to slowly reopen. And now it seems like they're alternating with this park to get maintenance or whatever done over there at Blizzard Beach. I know most of the cast members that work over there are now here, so it's unknown when both of the parks will be open at the same time. I actually went to Blizzard Beach just this past Friday, which was New Year's Eve. That is how I spent the very last day of 2021 at one of my favorite places I had to go because I got the water parks added to my pass, my annual pass, and I wasn't sure when Blizzard Beach would reopen, so I had to go for one of its final days. And then, of course, I had to be here at Typhoon Lagoon for its reopening day. I did film when I was over there at Blizzard Beach. I am going to hold it for a few days just to make this one a priority since it's like a big opening. So stay tuned. Definitely make sure you're subscribed. This is really cool. There's a lot of different little paths to go down, a lot of windy and like secret areas. I literally I literally feel like I'm lost in an island, especially because there's not that many people here. It's like I took a three hour tour that went a little haywire. I'm feeling really pumped, guys. It has been a long time coming. I have wanted to come here for so long, since I was a kid, watching those free Walt Disney World vacation planning videos on, on cassette, on videotape. Oh my God, and I've been here. I've moved here about two and a half years ago, but I've never had the chance to come because they closed very quickly after we moved here. We're finally here. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pumped. There is an area for the kiddos, Kachekity Creek, I think is how you pronounce it. Basically 48 inches and under. Enough walking around. I took about an hour just kind of getting an idea, getting some shots and some stuff with a regular camera. It's time to head back to the car, grab the GoPro, and get in the water. From here is a map of Typhoon Lagoon. It looks like there's about maybe seven big slides. And then, of course, the Lazy River and the massive wave pool. I think I'm going to come, we're here, coming in, and I think I'm going to go right and just try to make my loop around. Admittedly, I am a little bit lost. I'm trying to get to Crush and Gusher, which is the one that I'm super excited about going on, and I already went the wrong way. <gasps> Look at this! I'm so darn excited. I've never been on a water coaster before. Oh my god. 
Let's do this. First ride. Oh boy. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! Oh my gosh, all right, we're going inside a little bit of outside. Whoa! That was legit, that was so much fun. I loved how, because it was like a water coaster, there were like multiple push-offs and multiple times where you caught speed. I overheard some people in line saying that there was one of the other of the three lines that you can get onto that was a lot funner than the only one that we can do was coconut, still was a lot of fun. Very quick, but I loved it, especially for our first ride. That was the one that I really, really was excited about. Miss Adventure Falls is our very next ride. This one is a family ride, so we're gonna have to see if they'll pair us with someone else, maybe another couple or another family. Turkey legs, ice cream, ah, a windy waterway on one of three high-speed slides that include caves, waterfalls, gushers, and a three-story drop over here on storm slides. I think these next two are gonna be speed slides, so we're gonna go down real quick and without a tube. It looks like up here there are three different slides to choose from, so I'm gonna start with Jib Jabber. <laughs> or really, Jib Jammer. I think I like Jib Jabber a little more. Oh, I got the green light! <laughs> oh, oh, these kind of hurts my back just a little bit. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, it's, it's like a kind of like an awkward massage on your back. Oh man. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, now we're doing stern burner. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is a little awkward. Yeah, oh, what was that? Oh, whoa, all right, ready for the splash. Quite out yet, but the water feels really good. Last one is called Ruder Buster. That doesn't sound too good. Whoa! Oh, right. oh whoa! Oh, this one's the fastest so far. Holy moly! Oh, oh man! Slipping and sliding. Quite literally. Was the best one. That was the fastest. Humunga Calabunga. I think this is kind of like their big one. Not as scary as Summit Plummet over at Blizzard Beach, but this is a five story plunge down one of three enclosed high speed body slides. Considering I was just over at Blizzard Beach and I did Summit Plummet, which is 120 feet straight down, not even nervous about this one. All right, JoJo, we're racing. Oh. Okay. We're racing. We're racing. Right. I'll see you on the other side. Go! Oh my god, that was really fast. Yeah, that was super fast. Oh my gosh. I don't even know who lost. I don't know either. It was really close. It was a tie. Right, we got Gangplank Falls, another family raft ride. I got two over here Keyhaw Falls and Mayday Falls. Huge shout out to all the couples and the pairs that are letting me ride with them today. 
the two raft rides here, you can't go on by yourself. So it's really nice of them for letting me crash their raft and letting me join them. So I do want to try to get all of the rides here on opening day done. And I think I've done all of the ones that require more than one person. So it looks like we're on a good track. This last raft ride was really, really short. The first one that we did was definitely a lot better. This one went by like super quick, hardly any drops or anything. is up next we're grabbing another tube yep. <laughs> all right okay so far we're doing a lot but oh no no oh oh this one we're oh <laughs> oh no we're going all around on this one. Oh, geez we're going back in oh no no it's too scary to remember ah! <laughs> no why why would i turn around going <laughs> we're just spinning all around and then we ended up backwards the whole time can't see where you're going <laughs> these last two were a lot of fun they were just like really unexpected yes my friends it is turning out to be an absolute beautiful day the sun is finally out and it's shining down pretty strong we've got 85 degree weather right now there is a decent amount of people out oh here they go Oh my god, <laughs> that's gnarly, wow, I've officially done all of the slides, all of them, and I did a couple of them multiple times. It's currently 1 o'clock, so we got here at 10, walked around for the first hour, went back to the car, grabbed the stuff, so at 11, we started to hit in the slides, and we have officially done all of them. So that'll leave time. For this bad boy behind us, we also got to hit the lazy river. And I'm thinking now that the sun's out and it's starting to get warm, dull way. I feel like this is the main attraction. We've got to at least go in a little. I won't go in very far though. The whistle's going off. That means something's about to happen. Oh, what? What the heck? Oh my God. <laughs> no. super scary but that was a lot of fun i can only imagine when it's even busier and there's more people out here because you see that huge wave coming towards you and then everybody's bodies start coming towards you too <laughs> oh we've seen those videos in like other countries where they're like where it's like this where there's huge waves and but uh, bodies of people like hardly any room to swim yeah, this is as far in as i'm gonna go and even a little further than i said i'm up to like chest level right now it's so scary. This is inspiring me to learn how to swim though. I think I officially want to take some lessons so I can come back since we have the annual pass. Oh no. Look at that. It's heading right for us. Okay, that's 
the trick. You gotta go under it before it hits you, or else it takes you with you all the way to the end. So it is Lazy River time. They have a couple different types of floats that you can get on. So they have these that are more like a chair, and then they have some that are more like an inner tube. And then I saw some doubles. But since I was over at Blizzard Beach, comparing at least the Lazy River, all of the slides are extremely different, but at least the Lazy River, it feels a lot faster. The one over at Blizzard Beach is very, very lazy. so insanely like thrilling it just gets your heart going there's nothing like that here where I felt like really scared but there's a really good combo of slides here so they had a lot of tube slides they had a lot of body slides they had some that were inside outside some that were completely unexpected like that crazy raft one when we were in the tube also the roller coaster or the coaster water coaster whatever you call it that was a lot of fun too both great spots I will definitely be back here I feel like I come a little bit more often, get to know the layout of the land a little bit, and then I can come back. Back on the regular camera, because this morning as I was walking around, I saw this over here at what's called the Snack Shack, and I had to come back for it. Dole Whip, a soft serve, but look at all of the different flavors. They have pineapple, which is classic, lime, mango, or raspberry, and you can put it in a cup or you can put it in a waffle cone, and you can also add a little spice. So they were out of the two flavors that I wanted. They were out of the lime and the mango. So what I got was, I think she called it a Mount Suey, and it's basically pineapple and raspberry Dole Whip, and then it's made all pretty. Look at the little flowers on it, and in a special waffle cone. All right, we gotta do this quick. Look how pretty it is. I don't think I've ever had raspberry Dole Whip before. Of course, pineapple. That's a good combination. Raspberry and pineapple, that's the move. It's been a beautiful day. I had so much fun here at Typhoon Lagoon for our first time on reopening day after being closed for nearly three years. I loved it. I'm officially addicted. I love water parks. I'm a big fan of them all, but it was so cool to finally be able to come here to Typhoon Lagoon. And I'm so excited because I added the water parks to my annual pass, so I will be able to come all year long. We can compare what's better. It's currently winter. It doesn't look like it, right? But it is currently winter. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining me and I love you. Peace. <laughs>